Mm, Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Here we go. Our truth versus Jack Sparger. I came back out of that because I wanted to turn the entrances back on. Um, you know, we, we won't watch all of them, but we will watch a uh, majority of them. So, after some dinner and an episode of Supernatural, we are back on track. Here we go. Our truth versus Jack Swagger with the accompanying accompaniment of Eve is Eve and Jack Swagger are they um romantically involved what's going on here this is very strange very interesting this is the dynamic I wanted I wanted new people getting together not just the same old guys so our truth versus Jack Swagger I think we want to be Jack Swagger here and uh, make our truth tap out here that's what we're hoping our truth is one half of the tag team champions with Kofi Kingston if you remember, um, in previous universe modes, he was taken out by Brock Lesnar. But, I mean, I guess two years have passed in universe mode, so he doesn't remember that. R-Truth on his way to the ring. Let's see some Eve action with Jack Swagger. This is very exciting. I wish there were a way that you could just reset the stats and not the whole universe. Just reset the stats, because I've, I've went two years in the future since the beginning of universe mode and and now like i'm sure he's been us and wwe champion probably once like i just wish they could reset that right now and then i could just track them but um i guess i'm just gonna have to use my good old memory because yeah i don't know i don't know if there's a way to delete just the stats reset just the stats i'll have to go in and look at that but jack swagger versus our truth here we go come on Let's go, we're gonna be Jack. We're gonna be Jack and we're gonna attack those legs. Who's gonna gain the upper hand? It is Jack Swagger, and here we go. And this is just gonna be an easy, uh, well, it'll be basically an easy match because all we gotta do is take out, oh, and look at that. It looks like he's tripping there, but he's not. He's basically chop blocking. Oh, hey, Eve, hey. Hey, Eve, get back up here. Come here, give me a kiss. Come here. Ah. Eve getting nippy with our truth here. Very interested to know the connection between these two. Maybe we'll look at some of their, uh, some of the allies and rivals of, e of some of these people so we can get a gist of who's a good guy, who's a bad guy. I'm pretty sure our truth is a good guy and Jack Swagger and Eve are bad guys. That's what's going on here, I'm sure. Oh Alright, Eve. Hey, 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 Eve. No, get back up here. Damn it. <sighs> Why won't she get up here when I want her to? Women. We are still working on the legs of our truth Targeting the right one, it seems here. And this is going to be quite repetitive, but it is necessary. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. I can do this. Oh, look at that. But then he grabs the ropes, and if he's not really injured, it doesn't do a whole lot. So, not great. You just got to use the uh, targeting submission, targeting move thing. We reverse it into a reverse atomic drop, and I'm going to have to get him again. There we go. Chop blocking. Eve, come here. What do you want to say? You want to say something to me? No, what is she doing? Jack Swagger, controlling the arm. And what other moves could we do? I don't think there's many other moves that Jack Swagger has in his arsenal. He's got this stuff, which is fine, but... You know, I want some cool moves to do to our truce legs. Like the knee breaker. See, all, all he's doing here is just working on the knee of uh, our truth and it is working, as you can see, he is now in the yellow. Oh, and he hit it. He reversed it. Come on, Eve. Eve, you're going to have to do something. Our truths getting nippy, and I'm messing up on these reversals. Putting us... Oh, in Snake Eye's position, and it connects. Oh, man. Our truth you don't want to do this. Son of a bitch. Ah, I got him. Chop block him. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to be moderate in a minute. We're going to take him out. 
There we go. Yeah, do something different. Do something different, Jack. Okay, what does our truth need to do now? Oh, geez. Oh, hold on. What's this? Got another achievement. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> so it's a good thing we played as Jack Swagger, huh? And we're just taking out the legs, and he's almost weak enough that if we hit our finishers, um, we're going to be in a good spot here. We'll do some push-ups. Because I think he's in the red, or at least he should be now. Oh, we reverse into a roll-up. And we're just going to break out of that. I want to finish it my way, or else this match has been quite repetitive for no reason. Alright, let's pull him. Pull him this way. Finisher. No, our truth reversed. No, all that work. Oh, and he reverses into the truth a And we're going to ring escape. We're gonna ring escape. He hits Truth Aru out of nowhere. And Jack Swagger needs. Oh, and Jack Swagger's angry. Tearing apart the announce table. And R Truth going through the announce table. Wow. There he goes. He's gone he's gone through it. Jack Swagger's gonna taunt his way back to a signature move. Back to a finishing move. Get boy, get down. Jack Swagger will win. Oh, roll up. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, and the, and, oh, what is it? Eve is distracting the referee. Oh, and he hits him with a chair. Wow. <laughs> Eve is being an awesome manager here. Distracting the ref. Giving me just enough time to kick out there. I think I would have made it out anyway, but we'll do some push-ups over this chair. We kind of nicked our truth with the chair. Gave us the advantage in this match once again. We are signaturing our way back to where we need to be. And look at that. He is, he is near hurt. And Eve just looking for any spot to get involved here if she needs to. She doesn't need to. Um, but if she does, she's right there. Very good of Eve to be doing that. And we'll roll him. And we'll drag him this way so he has nowhere. Oh, man. This is not good. There we go. Now pull him again. Just pull him straight down. Perfect. Now finish him. Give him a finisher. No, don't spin him that way, you dummy. Oh, he can't move, though. He can't move. He can't crawl. Damn you, son of a... Son of a bitch. Oh, and we're going to take him out. And we're just going to run attack him until he pins us. There we go. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Eve. Eve. Distract the ref. Oh. Damn you, R-Truth. Get the, get the fuck out of here, man. No, you're going to screw up the ending of this match. No, and Eve has been ejected. Oh, that means we can't do what I wanted to do. Damn it. Our truth is really mucking things up here. We reverse it. Oh, what was that? <laughs> what was that? Oh, and he reverses again. One two but we reverse it come on go for the pin one two and oh he kicked out son of a bitch stop it and the crowd does not like jack swagger getting these moves off they are not liking him at all eve has been ejected jack swagger has no and he's just gonna go for an easy pin here and look at that the torque on the knee of our truth the knee has been taken out this whole match. Our truth really in no position to grab the rope. And he has to tap out. Look at the force of Jack Swagger. Swagger had to use a chair at one point. Eve was involved. Preventing our truth to get the roll-up win. Even Jack Swagger, a power couple maybe. He hit the truth through. Jack Swagger utilized his ring escape. And put our truth through a table. Our truth had everything going against him, and he came so close to winning. Let's see if anything happens here. It's a highlight match. And Jack Swagger 
I don't think he's done all the trouble our truth gave him in this match, and he is just gonna take our truth out. Stomping a mud hole into our truth, and our truth is he's gonna learn that Jack Swagger and Eve are not to be messed with. What do we got next? What's next? Come on, universe, hit me. Miz versus Santino Morella. Now, Miz would also be a very good character to take control of here, because it seems in Raw, they're uh, uh, in normal wrestling, the real life, um, it seems that they're trying to make him a good guy, kind of. He's kind of like transforming himself into a good guy slowly. Um, so I wouldn't mind trying to take a crack at a, at, at a, a face Miz, that'd be kind of cool. Miz, of course, in the uh, creation episode, got demoted from uh, being Intercontinental Champion because that is a SmackDown title, and The Miz is on Monday Night Raw. So, of course, he can't be the Intercontinental Champion. So he's going to have to start all over on the bottom rung of Monday Night Raw, work his way up to where he wants to be, I'm sure, the WWE Championship. He's going to have to get through this man, the Italian Stallion, the miracle in Milan, the Santino Morella, and will the Cobra make an appearance tonight? That is very, it's, this is going to be a good match. I, I, I'm always good for Santino. Santino Morella not been on uh, Monday Night Raw in quite a while, at least not nothing that I've seen. A lot of Zack Ryder, Brodus Clay even, but no Santino. I think he's been doing a lot of work on Saturday Morning Slam. What a perfect... Oh, and look, here comes Epico. These two must be the top two um, number one contenders for the Cruiserweight Championship because Epico defeated Dean Ambrose and Primo, and maybe that knocked them down a few, so maybe Miz is the top prospect for the Intercontinental Champion. We're going to have Santino win here because Miz is on a losing streak and Santino versus Epico really seems like the better match if there's going to be a rivalry here. And Miz, I don't know who Epico is out here to face. Most likely Santino, I would think. Because again, Miz has been preoccupied on SmackDown. As you can see, the announce table has been set back up. No harm has come to Michael Cole's computer or water bottles. Miz and Santino going at it on the outside of the ring. Epico not responding, so that's a good sign. Maybe it's just a number one contender thing and not a, a rival thing. Well, I, would, I expected Miz to um, get out of that move and just run to the ring, but he went for the move anyway. Smarter AI. Oh, and the ref's down. The ref is down. Oh, but the ref gets back up. That's what I do like. I do like that the ref is... It's harder to get um, chair shots in and illegal moves in when the ref is down. One, one thing I wish the ref would do is when you take the turnbuckle cover off, which I still don't know how to do in this game, um, I wish he would put it back on because that's what refs do. They don't like that thing being exposed. Santino going to the top, gonna hit, oh, I don't know what that was, I, I have no clue what that was, some kind of stunning maneuver on the Miz, taking the Miz legs out from under him, and just working on the Miz, the Miz has not had a lot of offense in this match, this is on legend difficulty, so it's gonna take a little bit to get Miz down, down enough. It might be on hard. It might be on the second one because Legend is a super, a lot of super. Uh, no, it might be on Legend. I think I remember changing it to the hardest Hall of Fame or Legend, whatever it's called. Whatever the hardest mode is, that's what it's on, I believe. I'll have to double check that, especially if I've reset um, Universe mode. Who knows what that resets? So there we go Santino taking the Miz out he needs to focus on the head so the Cobra can strike and give Santino the one two three and look at that Morella martial arts going on there 
MMA. Miz has Santino in the corner. Santino reverses. Miz reverses into a drop toe hold. And suddenly Miz is in control. And I'm trying to reverse here. I'm just not hitting him on cue. Miz with an arm bar. And I'd probably put a commercial break in there. I'm coming back with Miz still dominating the match. A big bit boot to the face of Morella. Mike the Miz Mizanine. Maybe about maybe five years in this business so far. Right around that. That, that seems about right to me. Miz getting taken down. Miz a money in the bank winner. A former WWE champion. Beat John Cena in the main event of WrestleMania. He's got a lot of accolades, but... Can he rise to the top again? Was his 15 minutes of fame all? Was that it for his career? I don't think so. I think he'll be back on top soon. Um, he just had a taste of it. You know, you got to get the new generations in and all that stuff. And Miz is the beginning of the new generation. I think Miz is going to be around for at least the next five, six years. He'll probably move on to something to do with MTV when he's done with his career. But I think for now... He'll be in the WWE. I think this is what he loves, which is great, because MTV needs a lot of... They have a lot of young viewers, and, you know, getting young viewers into watch wrestling would be a good thing. So, let's see if we can set Miz up for a Cobra here. And the Cobra has made an appearance. The Cobra is on Santino's hand. And the Cobra striking the Miz. And I do like the new Cobra animation. Last year's was kind of dumb. This one actually looked good, and Miz kicks out immediately. Oh man. Miz fighting back. The Cobra did not have a whole lot of an effect on Miz. Running Bulldog. And Miz is, should be bleeding. Should be, but he isn't. I didn't turn that on yet either. So when I look at the uh, game mode settings, I'll turn that back on. Mostly because I'd rather there be blood than not. I wish I could just control when it shows up because it shows up way too damn much. Oh, and we reverse into a roll-up. Are we going to win one, two? And I think winning by roll-up is the best thing to do here. It kind of protects the Miz. No, but the Miz sneaks a win over us. We missed on the roll-up opportunity. Miz reverses the roll-up and pins Santino for three. Let's look at some of these highlights. Working on the arm of Santino. The Miz didn't even have to hit a finisher. Miz saw the red in his eyes as soon as the Cobra strikes. Look at this. Cobra strikes. Only a one count. And the Miz gets back up and hits a flurry of offensive moves. Going for a roll-up victory over Santino. And what is this going to do to the Cruiserweight Championship scene? Only time will tell. Mike the Miz Mizanin winning this match, his first match back on Monday Night Raw after being demoted from Intercontinental Champion on SmackDown. He's the new guy on Raw, and he has just taken one step up that ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because coming up next is the main event of the evening, Brock Lesnar versus The Rock. Who is going to win here? Is it going to be the Brahma Bowl? Or is it going to be the master of the Broctagon? Which is... I, I don't know. That's his word, not mine. Who is going to win this match? I'm going to watch this match. And I'm going to do color commentary on it. Because I don't know who should win. Let's look at the rankings here. Brock is number two. The Rock is number four. Punk is number one. So Miz is number seven. So wow. Hmm. Interesting. Jack and R-Truth kind of switching spots there. Okay, so we're focused on the Brock Lesnar and The Rock, and they're looking at John Cena and CM Punk. And King. Look at that lineup for the WWE Championship. That's an amazing lineup. And number six is Triple H. So, wow, really looking good for Raw so far. Stay tuned, because that match is going to be next.